What's up you guys? It's Allison. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd and welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. I can't believe we're already on day 14 and more than halfway there to Christmas. Halfway through Vlogmas, but here we are. Today, I don't really have a plan for the vlog. I'm just going to be doing some stuff with the pets. I think I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite guinea pig products, and we'll really just see what we get up to. So let's go on into the pet room and see what we need to do tonight. All right guys, so here is a reality of owning pets moment. So if you guys saw my video from this weekend of deep cleaning the pet room, uh, this floor was perfectly clean and vacuumed and we shampooed it with the carpet cleaner. Look at all of this mess. This is what happens when you have all the cages that need hay, bunnies that spread it all over the place. It's just what happens. That's just why the floor is dirty all the time. Also, this, these veggies on the floor, is why the carpet was so dirty to begin with because when it gets wet, it just like makes water droplets, stains the carpet. That's why I cleaned it with the carpet cleaner this weekend. And it looks so much better. But anyways, tonight what we need to do is I'm going to vacuum this floor first off because it's getting out of control already. Um, I need to spot clean cages. I need to clean the litter box. I'm not sure what Junebug's doing, but it looks cute. What are you doing, baby? What are you doing? She's being a crazy pig. So what we need to do tonight is spot clean cages, clean the litter box, and then I'm probably gonna vacuum the floor and show you guys some of my favorite guinea pig products, the things that I can't live without, just because I thought that would be a fun thing to do, especially now that I know where everything is since I organized the pet room. So we are going to spot clean cages tonight. That is the main pet chore that needs done. And I thought while we would do this, since I have done this a lot during Vlogmas so far, because it's, you know, thing that gets done every day. Uh, we could talk a little bit about the realities of owning a lot of pets because I know that a lot of people that watch pet videos on YouTube always think that they want to have a lot of pets because a lot of YouTubers have a lot of pets. So I kind of just wanted to chat about that in like my situation. Obviously there are plenty of pet YouTubers that have a lot of pets that, I mean, have time for them because that's their job. But I kind of wanted to talk about it in terms of um, not being a YouTuber, if that makes sense. Because I am I have a full-time job, that's what I actually do. I'm not a full-time YouTuber or anything by any means. Um, so I kind of just wanted to talk about what it's like to have a lot of pets. Um, just in case you think you want a lot of pets or one day you want a lot of pets. Um, just so that you kind of understand what all goes into it. So, if you're new to my channel, I have six guinea pigs and two bunnies. And I obviously have a channel about them. Um, but my channel is mostly just about pet care and that sort of thing. So, I kind of wanted to talk about the pet care that goes into it. So, you can see on my channel, obviously, I have a lot of videos during vlogmas of like spot cleaning cages and cleaning cages and deep cleaning and all of that but there's a lot more that goes into it as well besides just the day to day cleaning that i wanted to talk about so most of that has to do with um pet supplies and how much it costs to have pets and how much time it takes to have a lot of pets so i'm kind of just gonna jump right in um so first Let's talk about how much it costs to have a lot of pets, um, which can be a lot, especially when it comes to guinea pigs. I don't know off the top of my head how much I spend in a month on guinea pigs or on the guinea pigs and rabbits. They're kind of lumped together since they have most of the same supplies, but I can kind of tell you how often I order supplies and how much it costs and that can kind of give you an idea. So 
The main thing that I spend the most money on would be veggies and hay. So hay we order every six weeks and I have it on auto ship from KMS Hayloft. And every time it ships, um, it's about $65. And that is for a um, 45 pound box of hay. And that lasts us more than six weeks. Um, that does last us more than six weeks. I just don't ever want to risk running out. So I order it a little more often than we need it. So you can kind of do some math on that. And that feeds my two bunnies and all six guinea pigs. They all eat the same hay. The other thing that we spend the most money on is veggies. Um, usually my boyfriend gets those and he goes at least once a week. Normally it ends up being like a week, week and a half um, to get veggies. And I would say it's probably $30 every time, 20 to $30 every time. So you can do the math on that as well. Um, and that again feeds all six guinea pigs and the two bunnies. The bunnies obviously eat a lot more veggies than the guinea pigs do. Well, I would say it ends up being equal with how many guinea pigs I have on how much they eat. So you can do the math on that as well. Um, other than that, I buy pellets from, that's dirty. I buy pellets from Sherwood Pet Health. They're $35, I think, for a 10 pound box. But we don't order those very often. I don't give them a lot of pellets. Um, the guinea pigs obviously go through them faster than the bunnies do, just because I have more guinea pigs. But, what is going on here? But we don't feed a lot of pellets, so it's really not a big deal. Um, so, it does add up. Another thing I wanted to mention is vet costs. We are prepared for vet costs at pretty much any time. Um, I try to keep a separate vet fund just for anything that could happen with the pets, which we end up using <laughs> at least once a year. We totally wiped it out this year with June bug surgery. Um, and let me know if you guys would like a video on like, I'm planning to do a video on finding an exotic vet, but let me know if you want a video on like budgeting for pets or something like that. Um, or more about June bug surgery. I could do that as well. But having, um, sorry, my nose is itching. Having a vet fund is also important because you never know when you're going to need it, especially with a lot of animals. So really money wise, that's the main thing I want to talk about. It, it always costs more than you think it does. Every single always costs more than you think it does. The other thing um, with having a lot of pets is they take a lot of time, which with me, my animals are also kind of like my hobby. I really enjoy taking care of them. Um, they're my YouTube channel. I like taking care of them so much I started a YouTube channel. So um, they do take a lot of time. So if you are somebody that really likes to travel or has a lot of other things going on, like I have a very, very busy job, but I work um, pretty close to home. So I'm not traveling a ton and I'm usually home, you know, by six o'clock every day. Um, so I don't really have to worry about finding somebody to watch my animals, especially since I do have so many. The times that I do travel, I also have family nearby so they can watch the pets for me so that works out. Those are just the things you kind of have to take into consideration when you want to get more and more pets. It's one thing to ask somebody to watch two guinea pigs that just need fed once a day 
and it's another thing entirely <laughs> to ask somebody to watch six guinea pigs and two rabbits that um and let our dog out who really needs to be let out like two to three times a day i hope you guys can see what i'm doing so that's just something you have to keep in mind besides the fact that i mean however long this video is including jordy's such a clean pig um however long this video is including this cleaning i do this every single day so if you don't have time to be doing this then you probably don't want six guinea pigs <laughs> because this is the time that it takes not trying to make it sound like it's not fun either i'm just just talking about real life that's how it is just how it is um you also have to be kind of organized that's something that I think about a lot honestly because I had guinea pigs when I was younger and obviously I was a kid so I didn't always keep the best track of things especially when it came to my pets when I had a lot of other things going on um so I think about a lot I was thinking about the other day that all the times that I like realized that we didn't have any bedding on cage cleaning night or like that we were low on pellets like the day we needed new pellets. So you do kind of also have to be organized when you have a lot of pets because it's one thing if you have two guinea pigs and you're running low on pellets and you have to take a trip to the store and it's another thing if you have six like it's just you have to be more organized and think more ahead and plan for when you need things. Especially budget wise, like I mentioned, I have to plan when I'm going to need hay so that I include it in my budget and I have the money for it. That's just part of it. Sorry, my nose is itching. I got hay or something in it. All these cages got cleaned on Saturday and it's Monday obviously so they're really not bad at this point I really need to clean the top of that castle off it's terrible it looks terrible I say that every single time I spot clean their cage and then still haven't done it And then when it comes to adding a new pet, it's exciting when you think about adding a new pet when you really want a new pet, but you do have to think about all the costs that go into that. So for example, I'm working on setting up a new fish tank, which will be happening this coming week, actually. I should be ordering the plants, in case you guys were wondering what was going on with that. I'm gonna be ordering the plants tomorrow, actually. So that setup video should be coming this week. But in deciding that I wanted to set up a fish tank, I had to think about how much it was going to cost to set it up, how much time it's going to take every week to, to maintain, because most people think fish tanks, you just fill them and then leave them. Not really the case, especially when you have a planted tank. Um, it's going to require weekly water changes and all of that. So those are the things that you have to think about when... Hi, Mr. Andy when you're wanting a new pet. It is a little easier when you already have guinea pigs and you want to add guinea pigs, for example. When I decided I wanted Johnny and June, adding two guinea pigs really is not a lot because I used to have five guinea pigs. So deciding to add um, two to the four that I had really wasn't more than that much more than what I already had. When you have a lot of pets, you also have to be willing to take their different needs into account. So for example, no matter what I do, Georgie will not eat the Sherwood pellets. He just, he's been on the same pellets his entire life and he just doesn't want to switch. He's been on those same pellets. He doesn't want to switch to anything else. He likes what he has. Um, so instead of fighting him on it, I buy him different pellets. 
because that's what he wants. That's what he likes. So you kind of just have to, it, it would be that or him not eating pellets, which honestly like wouldn't really be a big deal, but he's, he likes his pellets. He's used to getting them. Um, they're not hurting him. So kind of where I'm at on that. But for example, Bell Pig, where's she at? She's in that tunnel right now. You can see it moving. Um, she's one of my senior pigs. All of these girls are seniors actually. But Bell Pig needs a little bit extra care. When you have a lot of pets, you kind of have to take into consideration that when things are going great, it's fine. But if something is going wrong or, or somebody is sick, even with just one pig, it can make pet care stressful. When Junebug was having her surgery, it was stressful just with her because I had to get her out every day, make sure she got her medicine, and then do all the other chores on top of that. So just something to think about. We have all of our spot cleaning done at this point. That wasn't supposed to be a negative chat. That was just supposed to be a, a reality chat because it's fantastic having a ton of pets. I love having a ton of animals. That's just like what I like to do with my life. I love having them all. We need to clean the litter box. And we need to clean, I don't understand what's going on with there being poop everywhere. I don't know why that's a thing. I guess they're marking their territory since I cleaned the carpet. Not really sure. But we're gonna clean it up. I would actually personally love to have more pets um, and like different breeds of pets. Like I would really like to get a reptile and all of that. I would really like to have rats someday. I would really like to have a Pac-Man frog. I have a whole video on the five pets I'd like to have in case you're interested. Um, but at the moment with the job that, with my job and um, some of the traveling that I do and just where we're at um, with just, you know, life in general at the moment, it's not really practical. And sometimes you have to be real with yourself on what you can handle. That's really what it comes down to. You just have to be real with yourself on what you can handle. If you can handle a lot of pets, then you can have a lot of pets. It's just how it goes. Pet, the the actual pet care is honestly my favorite part about having pets. Like I, I love just doing the day to day things. I love when they're all clean and happy. So that's what enjoyment I get out of it. So I don't mind all the daily work at all. They make it all worth it, huh, Mr. Randy? His fur, you guys, it's so much better. For the longest time, I, there's no way I could do this with my hand. Like this would have, this was just matted and it took us forever to get it all off. Like two years, like I'm not kidding. We would get most of it gone, go just a little bit too long with haircuts and he would just completely mat it all back up. Finally, I bought him dog clippers we just shaved him. Oh my gosh. It's so much better. He has one little mat that forms down on his butt when he's shedding, which we're going to actually clip off this week. You guys will see. But he's so much better. He actually loves being pet now because he doesn't have mats just pulling on his skin. So happy that it's so much better. It's so just long and, and fluffy now, isn't it, buddy? Yeah, and now he just flattens out for pets. And he used to sit all, like, uncomfortable. And now he loves it. It's a good boy. All right. Getting distracted from our cleaning. We're almost done, though. We are almost done. This is the last thing. Put the litter box back. And I'm also going to grab this off of here. I don't know why somebody has decided that the Ikea bed is a second litter box, but it's become a problem. It's definitely not that one. 
<laughs> it's definitely that one. Um, but I just put a puppy pad on it so they don't ruin it and put a fleece pad on it. That way if they pee on it, it's not really a big deal. All right, everyone, that is all of the little pigs cleaned. Hi, Georgie. Everybody has hay, I believe. Everybody has water. I filled them up last night. I think everybody's got hay. Double check. Actually, probably give them some. I love this hay tunnel because it just keeps so much hay. Holds so much hay, which is just great. They're my, these are, like I said, these are my senior girls, so I want them eating as much hay as possible just to keep them in good shape and good health. All right. This tunnel, by the way, is from Twilight Chinchillas. I'll link her Facebook down below. Um, but I love this thing. I'm probably going to order another one. I think she's closed for furniture orders right now, but I definitely want to get one. Um, I probably want to get a white one, I think, um, so that I can put it in the little babe's cage sometime. Yeah. Hi, babes. You want some hay? You have hay. How about I fluff it out for you? Yeah. You guys love your hay. I fluff it out for you. To go. To go. How my little babies? They got water, Georgie's got water, Georgie's got plenty of hay. You have so much hay, you don't even know what to do with it, huh? He says, yes, mom, I do know what to do with it, I eat it. All right, well, this room is all clean for the evening. All right, so I also wanted to talk about some of my favorite products. Sorry for the background noise, my air purifier just kicked on because I just got hay out. I would say the air purifier is one of my favorite products, to be honest. You don't have to have one that, that is that expensive. I just really, really like that one because it can be a flat against the wall. Used to have a different one that worked really well, but it cuts down on the dust so much. So I would say that is a good purchase. Um, my favorite thing, honestly, probably my top favorite product that we buy is KMS Hayloft Bluegrass Hay. Um, I am very allergic to Timothy Hay. And the bluegrass hay, not near as bad allergy-wise. Everybody likes it. It's healthy. The quality is always consistent. It's always really green and really leafy and nice. It's soft. I don't have to worry so much about really like hard eye pokes or hay pokes and eyes because it's pretty leafy and soft. It's great. Um, see, Mr. Andy's trying it out. I just love their hay. I will link them down below in case you guys want to check out their hay for yourself. They also have Timothy hay. I'm trying to get this thing shut and it's stuck. They also have Timothy hay. They have orchard grass. I'm pretty sure they have all the normal hay types, but I love their bluegrass. It is fantastic. Another one of my favorite products, which I honestly don't give as much anymore, but I do really, really like these. Um, I use Sherwood pellets. We use the Sherwood Timothy pellets because they're pretty much the healthiest that you can get for guinea pigs and the rabbits get the Timothy the rabbit Timothy pellets as well. So I really like their different support tabs. So I use the urinary support ones with the guinea pigs and I also give the bunnies the digestive support ones pretty often because they just have good stuff in them for if, you know, bunnies clean themselves kind of like cats so it just makes me feel better that the fur that they're licking off themselves is going to move through a little bit better using these and then we also do use the vitamin c tabs as well every so often they get most of their vitamin c through their pellets and their veggies for sure i make sure their veggies have a lot of vitamin c so we don't use these as often but i do like to give them to them every so often just to make sure they're getting the vitamin c that they need one of my other favorite products is actually these water bottles. I really can't tell you off the top of my head what brands they are. They're from Amazon. I will link them down below. But I'm, I've am i replaced all of our glass water bottles with these plastic ones because these ones do not leak. They keep the water a little bit cooler than room temperature, I feel like. Like, this feels cold to me right now, um, which just... I don't want warm water just sitting in their cages, you know? They don't leak. That's the biggest thing. The glass water bottles were always leaking. So I got all of these. These are great. Plus, 
they're not like I don't want super bright colored water bottles I think they look good so I will link those down below I cannot for the life of me remember what brand they are but I want to say they're Lixit maybe but I will link them in case you guys want to get them for yourselves or are having issues with leaking water bottles so the last product I want to talk about is Gorgeous Guineas products. Um, I'm going to be doing a full review and haul of this stuff later on this week when I have to give June Bug a bath. But I just wanted to show you guys quickly. Um, they make basically skincare for guinea pigs. So I have a couple different shampoos here um, that I will, like I said, I will go in detail and talk about these later on this week. But my absolute favorite product from them is the perfect pause ointment which the top of this got wet so it rubbed off but this is the perfect pause ointment this is fantastic to put on piggy's paws after you cut their nails it just keeps their feet really soft and nice how they're supposed to be um, it keeps them from getting dry which can be the start of bumblefoot so this is just a really great product i love all of Gorgeous Guinea's products because they're made specifically to be safe for guinea pigs and they all smell really good. So uh, make sure if you're not subscribed that you subscribe to my channel if you want to see the video later this week of me giving a couple piggies baths and doing a review on the Gorgeous Guinea's products. But I highly recommend, we'll link them below as well. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this random stuff going on in this vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 15. I can't believe we're already on day 15, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.